Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK, the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on version 1.4, the beta version actually is now here and this comes with a couple of nice things that I think lots of you guys will want to check out. Now one of the major updates is the cloud update. So if you go ahead and grab this, you'll be able to now add clouds easily in your scene. So how this one works is extremely, extremely easy. Now for anyone who would like to come through and check this one out, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here. Let's actually explore how this one works with Blender. So with Blender simply open right here. What you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference, install the add-on. And then if you press N on your keyboard, you will notice that we have physical atmosphere right over here. So how this one works is as easy as turning this on and automatically you would notice that you have something going on. Now, you probably wouldn't be able to see this here, so you have to switch over to Eevee, where you can see this in all of its glory. So at this point, you can use the Azimuth to actually play with this. So if you want it to go back and forth, you can use the Azimuth to get that happening. And then you can also choose to play with elevation that goes up and down. So this is also something else that you can do. So you can use the elevation to move this up and down. You can play with Azimuth to go left and right. And since we're working with Eevee, let's turn on that bloom. All right, that looks cool. And you can change the presets right here. You know, this is for Mars. This is for Nishita. So you can play with the presets and uh, get some good results with it. Now, if you want to get the add preset as well, you can also switch to that. That's a lot. And let's just simply stick to the Nishita. Now, once you have this going, if you go all the way down, you would now notice actually somewhere here, you would notice that we now have clouds. So with this cloud feature, you can now throw in clouds onto your scene so you can have these clouds here and you can also choose to animate them so let's say we have this cloud about a point like that and i right click and add a keyframe right there let's set this all the way to 100 and i'm just going to scale this move this all the way to this point right click and add that and then if i bounce this all the way back press the playback button you can now notice that we have a beautiful cloud animation going on. So this is quite, quite beautiful. Now you'd also notice that our horizon line is a little bit too much. So we can scroll all the way down, find that horizon line. Let's uh, go in and bring this down. So that's a little bit too much. So I think something like this might be nice. All right, so we can have that. And we can also have a little bit of a ground offset as well. So that looks pretty cool. So this is for those who want to work with clouds directly with this add-on. It is very interesting to see that this add-on now comes with it. Now we've already talked about uh, a lot of other things that you can do with this. And it makes sense to see that the folks at the physical add-ons are actually working on them. So if you like to have some density, you can also have some density depending on what you want to create. You can also play with the intensity of the daylight. So you can also have that. And for those who like to also play with uh, something like the angular diameter, depending on what you want, maybe you want to make something stylized. Yes, you can. So you can actually increase this and then increase the intensity as well. So depending on what you want to make, this add-on is now here and you can start making some impressive looking things with it. So this is more like it. This was more of a request from the community. Test out this beta add-on and we're doing that. So just in case you would like to come through and get it, there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check it out. Although the folks from the physical add-on actually suggest that this shouldn't be used for production, but I actually don't really see anything stopping you from using that since most of the features actually work. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.